we're on the downside of a hill, and there's pressure on the on the front on the front foundation wall, just because gravity is taking its taking its toll. So over time, um, there's some cracks and some water seepage and intrusion. We tried uh, a different contractor that uh, was not credentialed and um, didn't do our due diligence. Um, there was no resolution to the problem. Work done on a house by a contractor doesn't make it a repair. It just means it's work that's been done and this is an excellent example. Our repair was done in, I would say, it was done November. In November. And then come April, uh, it was another very rainy April, and um, we've got more water and we're getting an infiltrating into the basement and we realized not only is this not resolved the situation, it's exacerbated it. A homeowner paid to put a foundation wall against the foundation wall that failed against the original wall that failed and expecting the failed wall to hold up the new wall. When you unearth what they did incorrectly, not only do you have to redo it, but having caused more issues that we didn't have originally. There's some companies out there that are just trying to sell work no, no matter what. Uh, I think some of the other companies are trying to trying to make their system work for the problem. Not only do we have to double or triple the cost, but now we have to do corrective measures that if we didn't find this could have even cost us even more. Companies out there are, are out there trying to sell their system. That's what it gets down to. Then we we hunkered down and we decided an engineered solution would be the right would be the right solution. Skipping the engineer is just I've come up with a simple line, there's no engineer equals checkbook suicide. The engineer, he told it like it was. Because of professional certification, there's a level, there's a high degree of confidence there, and was preparing a plan that was independent of anybody else's motives or uh, 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 needs or, or, or preferences and the like. I'm not very popular with most of the contractors in town, because I'm not out here trying to sell their system. I'm out there to provide a repair for the problem at hand. Hughes came out and executed the, the plan. We have um, gravel next to the house for several feet so that the water will come down, percolate through the gravel into a drain, go out the side of the house and not cause a pressure buildup on the side of the house. It was a long process that didn't end right at the time that Hughes, but they did tell us and they gave us a step-by-step -step, like we're done, but this is what you need to do. I almost felt like they were holding our hand through the whole thing and we didn't have to second guess. We had our first test, that I would say with the rain that we had the other day, that would have been a day that we would have had water, water intrusion for sure, at least in the garage, maybe in the basement. And, um, you know, it's not totally a, dry. no trace or no sign uh, uh, by, by design. The original person told us what we wanted to hear, and we thought that the solution would be easier than it was. I think that both of us have learned a lot, and it's been a difficult lesson. Paying for work doesn't mean you're paying for repair. Paying for work means you're paying for work. Those are two separate, totally separate items. We were naive and unfortunately, they got us. You got a problem with your foundation, it precipitates, doors won't open, um, water intrusion, there's a whole range of things. For that level of problem, um, we're glad we went with an engineered solution because now uh, we've got the comfort of not even <laughs> occurring to us, oh, are we gonna have a leak when it rained heavily the other day? Start with an engineer, you know, the inspection fee is not that much. If you're looking at spending five, ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars, why wouldn't you start with the best advice? Five hundred dollars for the wrong repair is expensive. I'm happy. I'm relieved. I'm satisfied. I'm glad it's done. It was designed and engineered to be a permanent solution, not a ten-year solution or a twenty-year solution. It was designed to be a permanent solution. In our situation. Definitely an engineer was well worth it, and we should have done that to start with. There's a whole plethora of people out there advertising, foundation, all this other kind of thing. When you get right down to it, your entire house and your investment in your house rest on the foundation. You get it fixed right, and you go on with your business. You get it fixed wrong, and you're going to be it's limping, gonna, along. limping along. <laughs> Most importantly, the solution works. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hughes Construction, building and repairing solid foundations across the Tri-State.